Rodeos and live concerts are now back at the Silver Dollar Fair tonight. Fair managers expect it to be packed out there. Action News Now reporter Ryan Ketchum is out there live at the fairground. So, Ryan, I can see a lot of people out there behind you, a lot of them eating food, spending money. How big of a financial impact will this have on Chico? Yes, this will have a huge impact on the local economy, Haley and Allen. And uh, as you can see behind me, there are just hundreds of people walking back and forth. And Fair CEO Nick DeGrazia tells me that they grossed around $2 million in 2019 from the fair itself. And they're expecting to do the same this year. After they paid all of the fees associated with the fair, they still netted around a couple hundred thousand dollars he told me so as you can see as i mentioned a lot of people are right here behind me the fair they actually hire around 300 people their local people as well as some homeless people from the tourist shelter i'm actually going to go behind the camera a little bit and just show you a little bit of the action that we have right here a lot of people waiting in lines there's uh tickets there's also all of the food that everybody loves to have at the fair and some people enjoying the rides behind that area as well. The fairgrounds, they are state property though, but DeGrazia says that he keeps the revenue in the city. The revenue that we get just goes back into the facility itself. So this is why we have one of the nicer facilities in the state is it's we manage it like a business and then we put the money back in the facility and then we're here. That's why uh, Cal Fire comes here and other other agencies come here. The fairgrounds are used as a camp, as a fire camp, that is, for Cal Fire and have been used for several health services events. And many are just excited, though, to finally have the fair back fully to enjoy. Now, many of the vendors tell me that they did struggle during the first part of the pandemic, but ever since fairs started opening back up in 2021, they have seen the profits come back, including at this one, and they're just excited to be able to serve the community. And everybody behind me, as you can see, everybody waving at the camera right now, they're also excited to be here tonight throughout the weekend. Reporting live from the Silver Dollar Fair in Chico, I'm Ryan Ketchum. Action News Now, coverage you can count on. Thanks, Ryan. I hope you're bringing back some kettle corn for us. The fair will be open through Memorial Day weekend, and it's open until 11 p.m. every night, except Monday when it closes at 7 p.m.